Hi folks. So over the weekend, there was new drama in the Amber Heard uh, legal situation. Her insurance company sued her for a declaratory judgment over the uh, policy where she has coverage for defamation and for her legal fees. And they sought to declare that the policy um, excludes coverage for defamation because she acted maliciously or with a willful um, a willful act that would preclude coverage so what we're going to do here is run through quickly what's going on the Amber Heard five million dollar insurance lawsuit here's a copy of the docket in California where the complaint was filed and where the insurance company is um, asking the court to rule that uh, she's excluded from receiving coverage for her legal fees and for the award and the judgment for damages um, that Johnny Depp received against her. So this is where the complaint um, indicate is indicated on the docket and you'll see that uh, this is from New York Marine and General Insurance Company versus Heard. So let's look at the um, allegations here. Under paragraph 10 of the complaint, they state that the policy covered personal injury and that one of the enumerated personal injury offenses is any oral or written publication of material that slanders or libels a person or an organization including other forms of defamation and oral or written publication of material including other forms of defamation that violates a person's right to privacy. So because Johnny Depp's lawsuit falls under this provision, um, arguably she's entitled to coverage and she made a claim that she was covered um, under the policy. But what happened next is kind of interesting and it's another example of where Amber Heard and her legal team have um, made a critical misstep, which is costing them um, with regard to their litigation position. So, taking a look a little deeper at the insurance policy, um, this is the actual excerpt of the language from the insurance policy itself that's being referenced in the complaint, where it says that personal advertising injury um, is covered under bodily injury and under 4D, oral or written publication any matter of material that slanders or libel. So that's where the coverage would arguably come in. But um, Amber Heard turned down New York Marine's help with her defense. So in 2019, New York Marine accepted Amber Heard's defense. Let's take a little bit of a closer look here. Um, 2019, New York Marine accepted Amber Heard's defense. And then it goes on to say that um, California law does not permit an insurer to indemnify the insured if California law does not permit an insurer to indemnify the insured, no indemnity can be provided. But here, New York Marine agreed to continue the defense of Heard through their law firm, Cameron McAvoy, but that Heard or her agents instructed other firms defending Heard in the underlying action to not include Cameron McAvoy in Heard's ongoing defense. Instead, she went with Rottenborn and Elaine. And because of that, um, she's not covered uh, because they had the ability to direct her defense, which is what the insurance companies usually do in situations like this. As lawyers of practice in the courts, um, when one of our clients has an insurance coverage and you make a claim, they have the ability to then direct the defense and have their lawyers participate. And if you forego their help, then um, that's a, a basis for them to not provide you with coverage. Now, um, the other issue is under California Code Section 533, um, insurers are relieved of liability for losses caused by willful and malicious acts. And you can see here where they've pled that and they've stated that the jury's factual findings established that Heard's liability is caused by the willful acts of her. And so that's against public policy and Section 533 of the law. Therefore, she doesn't get coverage. And when they talk about willful acts, 
they're talking about the intentional um, design by Amber Heard to slander and libel Johnny Depp, whereas if it was a negligent act versus a willful one or an intentional one, then arguably she could still get coverage. So going a little bit deeper here into this, um, the question becomes, what is all this worth? The insurance policy on its face here would cover a million dollars of loss. And it's been reported that Amber Heard's legal fees were somewhere between five million and six million. So that, that, that's an interesting facet of this type of like insurance uh, defense where uh, the insurance company might only cover the face value of the um, insurance of $1 million, uh, but in, in the actual judgment, but they would cover the 5 to $6 million of legal fees um, for the defense of that action. So what she could stand to gain here is to have her legal fees covered, but she can't do that <clears throat> if she declined their help or if public policy precludes her from a recovery. So the total punitive damages though were only five million. That's the part where the statutory cap kicked in back to 350,000. New Jersey has the same exact um, statutory scheme. And that was something that was changed in a lot of states during the Bush years due to tort reform. So what could the insurance company ultimately be liable for? Well. They could be liable for the $1 million of loss, that's the judgment amount. They could be liable for covering her legal fees, but she declined their help, and that would have been $5 million. So this is a lawsuit that's potentially on its face worth $5 million. They could also um, be on the hook for the $350 million of the, um, or $350,000 of the punitive damage award if it were the case that that was for reckless or negligent acts, but here since it's willful and intentional acts, it's not probably covered. And then I'm curious to know what any of you who are following this think. Um, first of all, do you think that the insurance company is going to win? Please feel free to make a comment below and opine as to whether you think that the insurance company is going to win. Um, from where I'm sitting, it seems pretty clear, but I've seen some insurance lawyers who are saying, well, in the in these type of cases, um, the question is a little more skewed in favor of the claimant. Uh, but in the cases that I've seen, you know, the, what the court does is the court looks at the language of the policy and they look at the plain reading of that language, and then they look at the legal exclusions that you know are overlaid on top of that for what public policy determines is not coverable. And in my experience, I, I think a judge in a district court setting wouldn't have much of a problem saying that, number one, the uh, policy itself would be um, would be implicated and this would be about a claim, but that number two, there's an exclusion for the intentional acts and because the jury finding found that there were intentional acts, the loss wouldn't be covered. Whether the legal fees would be covered then would turn upon whether she did everything that she was required to do under those same contract provisions. And here, that would include accepting the insurance company's help in the defense of the lawsuit, which she did not do. So I think for those reasons, both the loss and the legal fees of $5 million and $6 million would not be available to her. So I'd like to hear what everybody thinks about whether the court is going to declare that the insurance company has a valid exclusion of coverage. And then lastly, if you want to um, give me your, your opinion here on what the insurance company could potentially be liable for, I'd be interested to hear it. Would they be liable for the $1 million face amount of the policy, the, the policy limit, the $5 million or $6 million of legal fees she incurred, 
or the three hundred fifty thousand um, dollars on the punitive damages claim on top of the one million, which I think clearly it's, it's not the case. But um, would love to get some differing opinions on the topic. So this is just a quick video to go over these recent developments with the insurance um, lawsuit, which obviously we'll proceed and we'll see what happens. Um, hope everybody uh, enjoyed this video, and if anybody has anything to add, please uh, drop it in the comments below. Thank you.